Yo guys, so it's Monday, the start of a new week up here in Carlisle. Got another week up here. You know, that weekend off gave me some good time to rest and recover. So I'm ready to attack this week, show them what I got and that. So yesterday was an off day on a Sunday. So my guy Toby up here showed me a church up here. So I went church up here in Carlisle and it was literally such an amazing experience. Met some good people up here. You know, they prayed, we prayed together, learned a lot from different people. Met a guy from the army over there who was just telling you about his story. Uh, one thing you guys might not realise, like, actually recording in this first team dressing room and environment is, is kind of awkward. Cause I can't just get my phone out and start recording and everything, so I have to do it in a skillful way. So let's see what I can get. Try to show you guys the behind the scenes a bit and that. But let's go, guide me God. Gym prep time. Some ice to my side, bro. Lovely. Another day completed. We're moving. But yeah, as you guys seen, I had to get some ice on my side because I had to do bare dives, like a hundred dives because you all of this trench work in pre-season. So the burn on my side, it gets hurt. It's like a common injury during pre-season and that. So even my padded shorts are not trying to work. So I have to take it easy, make sure I rest and recover properly. But yeah, till tomorrow. Yo guys, so it's day five up here on trial at Carlisle. Just currently having some breakfast. Like yesterday, I had to just relax on the vlogging thing. I was just focusing on my work. Cause as I said, we're in the trenches. Uh, we had a triple session yesterday, two outdoor sessions and a gym session. So we didn't finish until like five, but yeah. We'll go again today, we'll see what we gotta do. And yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> this whole experience is just teaching me, like, seriously, what this football thing is about, how serious it is, how tough it is. And yeah, I'm just growing and learning, man. But we're moving, let's go. So I'm out here with my brothers in Christ, Toby and Josh, my fellow trialists. About to attack the day. <laughs> what have you man been saying been for tough. last couple of days? It's been tough, man. But Christ, anything possible, eh? Right? Amen. We're out here. About to get to work.
make sure it heals properly. Another day done in the bag. Today was a bit of a lighter sesh. You know, 11 v 11, 8 v 8, phases of play and that. But yeah, man, I'm enjoying my time here. Like, being around older guys, it's different to the academy system, man. I'm just learning a lot. Like, it's a big difference, man. You gotta be stronger, independent, more mature and everything. But yeah, we're moving. We're gonna go back, might go cinema and bowling later today with the guys. Mm, make sure you guys comment Beyond Football down below if you guys are enjoying this content. But. Mm. Why are they not making CVs? Yeah. Like, as a player, you can develop your CV while you're still playing. Yeah. So then when you finish, you've got a football CV and you've got a normal CV. Because when you're going for a job interview, what are they going to ask you to send? A CV and a cover letter. Mm, so you mm, have no CV, mm. so you want to start your CV when you're 32. <laughs> so why don't you start when you're 22? Then you've got 10 years of building a beautiful CV. Tell them again. Said, bro. Yo guys, so currently on our way to the leisure center, little gym, quick swimming, quick recovery, but let me introduce you to this guy right here. I don't think I introduced you properly. Toby Show Silver. This guy is like a like a mentor to me. Like this guy completely encapsules everything we talk about on this channel beyond football. You know, he's been through it. So you know he's been mentoring me through this experience of balancing football and university and stuff like that. So you know, when he speaks, I listen, man. <laughs> Real wisdom, but yeah. We'll see you guys at the pool. Morning guys, so it's match day minus one. So I think today we've got a little double session and that you seen earlier in the video, me and Toby just went for an early morning work, walk around 7.30 a.m. just to, you know, pray, fellowship and just, you know, talk, get our legs moving before our day today, you know. But look at this, look at the beautiful weather up here in Carlisle, man. Living the dream, ready to attack the day show what I got and keep moving man but let's go keep pushing guys we move beyond football <laughs> living the dream boom training done another day in the bag come on cool a little bit of a different experience up here you know we have to provide ourselves with our own you know lunch now after training and that so just going back to the house just to make some quick lunch just gonna make some eggs have a little banana and some chicken i made from the other day and then back out for our second session and then we've got gym after. The grind will stop. It's the life behind the scenes at Elite Two Club, like up here in Carlisle. Of course, on my eggs. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got eggs using that all-purpose seasoning. Just a calm thing chicken I made yesterday and some
some eggs, some bagels to fuel me for our next session. Mm. Mm. Time for session two now. Let's go. The decks. Yeah. yeah. It's rising. Oh, we're getting mad. Crazy fish. Mm, recovery. Um, that's another day done. You know, triple session. So we got outdoor session, lunch, outdoor session, and then gym again. Like it's currently around like 5 p.m. Started around 9. Like we're moving, but look at the difference in rebel. This morning was sunny, shining, now it's all raining and that flipping heck. English weather. But now I'm just gonna chill. Might have something to go to with Toby later on. But match day minus one, match day tomorrow. We keep moving. Let's get it. Yo guys, so match day is finally here. All that work, hard work that I've been doing in the past 10 days up here in Carlisle. Today is the real day to show what I got, you know, show time. So yeah, guide me God, let's get it, let's see how it goes. You know, it's been some crazy experience. So just gotta compose it now and show what I got in that. Let's get it. Boom, so currently heading up to Penrith Stadium, so the first pre-season game, pre-season friendly games of, against Penrith, so I'm going to be playing 45 minutes today. Let's get it. Mm, that's the 10 days up here in Carlisle done. 5-1 win conceded when I came in the second half, came quick and that, but you know, other than that played well man. But find out about what happens tomorrow. We'll see you keep pushing. We move. Yo guys, so I'm back home now at my home gym. As you can got a little sweat on, just finished that sesh. But you know. Had to come home from Carlisle, you know, got my feedback the day after the game and then they said that, you know, they're not going to be offering me a contract because, you know, they said I'd done well throughout the 10 days I was there, played well in the game, but they're looking for a keeper who's more physical and taller than me, even though I'm, I'm at six foot. Yeah, even though I'm like six foot two. So, yeah, like, it's pain, frustration, like, rejection and everything but you know I'm back home now doing some individual training for the last couple of days but this is a real test of you know everything I've been saying throughout this channel like practicing what I preach beyond football having that identity and you know test of my psychology work being able to you know go again bounce back have resilience so yeah we'll keep going see what club I go to next and yeah, we keep pushing. Let's go. 